Breaking news. Nigerian Air Force helicopters now escorts Abuja Kaduna train to its destination. How much the train's ticket could be? Remember, say bandits, yeah? They come, they destroy the train, the train track, they shoot at the train, blah, 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 blah. Make I tell you one thing when it happened. Nigerian government come, come to say not be bandits. I don't know why, why they are protecting them and giving them what we call immunity, hiding them. They came and they told Nigerians, what we are telling you about, what we are saying about Shea Usani, a former senator, was on that train. And if you see the train, you will know that this train has been shot at and everything. You guess what? They are telling you that it's not bandit. So, uh, it's uh, people who are, uh, how do they call them now? People who are trying to, you know, steal train uh, uh, materials. They are the one who tried to steal the materials. And we all know what is going on. You know why? There is something they are all protecting. There is something they are all hiding. Okay? There is something they are all hiding. So now, the Air Force has to be going with the, with the train. Okay? Has to be going with the train. My dear, this is going on. Please do not forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. This is what is happening. This is what is going on. Efforts to protect Nigerians using the popular Kaduna Abuja Rail has commenced by military authority. Some Nigerian Air Force platforms have deployed along what routes to ensure the safety of passengers plowing the train. A recent attack on the train by armed bandits has led to the military to commence the monitoring of exercises from the air. The Nigerian military has deployed some of its attack aircraft helicopters to monitor the Kaduna Abuja railway tracks. This was announced in a press briefing on Thursday, November the 11th, by the Acting Director of Defense Media Operation, Brigadier General Benedict Onyeko. Safety assurance of all travelers along the Kaduna, along the Abuja Kaduna Railway. Although the Brigadier General did not say much on the new initiative, he however confirmed the monitoring has started. Asked to explain more in the military exercise and what the military intends to do, he said there, there have been a series of attacks on trains and railway tracks by some yet to be unidentified bandits. The attack on the railway has changed the game. Two recent attacks on the Abuja Kaduna railway occurred on the 9th of Wednesday, October the 20th, on the early morning of Thursday. October 21st. Rising alarm over the incident, a former lawmaker who represented Kaduna Central in the 8th Senate, Shea Wusani, said the bandits has planned some explosive on the railway track. According to Shea Wusani, the explosive planted by the bandits damaged the portion of the rail track, preventing the movement of train along the Abuja Kaduna rail. Sani called on the federal government and the leadership of the, tra of the Nigerian Ray Corporation to take action against the bandits. Still, nothing has been done. Shewu Sani, they waste your breath, so they have an interest in it, so nobody will say anything. Following the former lawmaker recommendation, no actions has been taken against the bandits. What they have decided to do is to give military aircraft you know, it will be looking after and be more working over and to be going with it. So this is what is happening now. This is what is happening. You know, this is what is going on. Nigerians, wake up call. The people, they deceive, they lie, and they do whatever they want to do. And then this is what is going on. The ray, they continue to lie to Nigerians that, oh, the rays are working well. Everything is going on well, but we all know what is going on. No, no, no action has been taken against the people who have committed the offense. Not a single action, yet they go on and they pretend as if all is well. Okay, not a single action, not a single action. So this is what is going on. They keep quiet. They tell you that um, they are working on it and nothing. Uh, it feels very much like Nigerian government have a hand in this thing, so they cannot even speak. Okay, they cannot even speak, you know. So this is, this is what is going on. 
this is what is happening and we all cannot keep quiet and pretend that all is well. Bandits are committing offense, but they go scot-free. They go scot-free. Why? Because those that should speak are not speaking. Are not speaking. They are quiet. They are quiet. So this is what is going on. This is what is happening. So if you look at it, you understand that we all have a work and a job to do. And all hands must be on deck if we want things to change. Yes, if we want things to change, everybody must truly get at it. You know, everybody must continue to speak up until the federal government decide to do the right thing. Until the federal government call a spade a spade. These people coming in needs to be tagged terrorists. They are coming all the way from Syria, from Libya, and from everywhere to come and destabilize a country. And yet you are playing hanky-panky game with them. What do you think will happen? What do you think will happen? You know, so this is what is going on. The, I mean, thank God Shewu Sani was on the train the day that thing happened. If not, ah, we would have heard different stories. Okay, they will not believe... They won't believe, you know, the people. And they would rather say, and the people are just saying something. They are just, you know, as they would normally do, they are saying nothing particular. So this is what is happening. Thank God somebody else was on that train, you know, to tell Nigerians exactly what is going on. You know, this is it. You know, the trains now are now being followed. Imagine how much would the train ticket be? Then you get a pilot, you pay the pilot, they will put, they will, they, they will fuel the, the, the helicopter, they will do this, they will do that. So how do we sort out this issue? How do we sort it out? There is nothing truly called transparency, accountability, and reality. All we have is called a deceit, a real deceit. God help us. God help us because um, we it, it, things have to change. Yeah, Things really have to change. Uh, the deceit in the government and the lies are just too much. They are just too much. Okay? They are just too much. So this is what is happening. This is what is going on. Uh, Nigerians, it is a wake-up call. We must all rise up and we must all, you know, say the truth as it is. You know, uh, God has just have to help us and show us mercy. You know, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. You know, please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. Bye for now.